All right, everybody, Dennis here and here. Flipgrid's got some crazy new stuff. You've probably been using it in your classroom already. You gotta check some of this stuff out. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything with you because you can clearly check out some of the effects, but take a quick look really quickly. So, while I'm recording down here, I got some options for myself. Let's get set up. I can upload a clip, I can mirror my video, I can audio, I can record my screen. These are some things that you've seen before. Screencasting is fantastic, but let's check out some of these new effects. All right, we got filters. I'm not all that interested in filters, but you might be. Maybe you like a colorful background. Maybe you got a reason for a filter. I don't know. That's not the point here. Let's go back. I want to show you something else. Not just filters, not just frames where I can add a cool exterior with like a news headline underneath just to show everybody what I can do. No, there's more here. I'm getting rid of that. I want to show you what's powerful for actually doing student learning. So there's two new things here. And one of my favorites is the board. Check out this board. What does this do for me? Well, I can grab a dot board, a graph paper, funny background. I'm going to grab a graph paper right here. Oh, look, there we are. It's a big graph paper. Where did I go? I don't know. Where do you think I went? <clears throat> Let me show you. Check out split screen. If I pull this a little, oh, oh, there I am. Oh, I'm coming in. All right, look, you can pull this over as much as you want. Show as much of the screen as you want. Let's just say I want to show me right here. No big deal. I'm here now. That's awesome. So now I can drop this down. I can go back to the effects. I can come back over, get rid of my boards, and get into drawings. So while I'm making my video, I can choose my pen thickness, my pen color, and maybe, just maybe for this one, I'm doing some graphing. I've got a touchscreen Chromebook. I really recommend the Pixelbook for that. Maybe you're doing some of this on an iPad or your smartphone, anything that can allow you to write without having to use a little mouse pad tracky, but some of you are using that. I also want you to check out the, uh, the XP Pro. It's a pretty cool tablet. But, so, I mean, if I'm graphing, this is kind of Desmo style in here, and I got some points, and I'm having the kids talk as we go. Now I'm ready to go. Hit record. Now I'm recording my video. In this case, you're going to be able to get an awesome set of drawings and videos out here for kids, explaining yourself while you're on the screen inside Flipgrid, and even better than that, give them a chance to explain themselves while they're in Flipgrid. The more they get a chance to write and draw and talk and do, while their face is on screen, the more you can authentically assess first who it is. They're not cheating. And I think that's kind of one of the things that everybody's talking about in remote learning is how do I stop my kids from cheating? But you can see their thinking and you can keep it visible too while they're working. Take the opportunity to use some of these new features for yourself. I'm going to pause this and tell, tell me what foot grid lets me do. Uh, but take these features, implement them in your classroom. They're brand new as of today, August 5th, 2020. School's about to get started. How are you going to roll out these features in your class? Check them all out check out the effects, then get in there and check out the teacher dashboard. That's a totally different video. We'll check that one out next.